today. From Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. It's week four of the NFL on EA Sports. Mac Jones and the New England Patriots taking on Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals. EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us roughly midway between Boston and Providence. Everybody knows it as Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. All the success in New England over the last few decades, and this crowd has never been more enthusiastic. A moment ago, the Pats emerged from their locker room. They are set as they'll square off with the Cincinnati Bengals. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Fall is in the air, and the NFL season is in full swing, and we're underway here in week four. On the return, it's Naheem Hines. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Here come the Bengals, and CD, of course, it's Joe Burrow out of LSU at quarterback. And they are in rhythm on offense because of him. I mean, right now, he's got everything going the way he wants to, finding the receivers the way he wants to, looking over defenses. No interceptions is the number I lock in on before a touchdown pass isn't so bad either. Yeah, what a game he had last week. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. Got an open man, that's David Njoku, the tight end. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. The numbers for Njoku from a week ago, six catches, 53 yards. And I'd certainly expect them to use him quite a bit because he runs excellent routes, has good hands, and knows how to get open. And they go play action now, Burrow. He's got Njoku, his big tight end, and able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Brandon, lest my eyes deceive me, I think they found a matchup that they're trying to exploit here, don't you? I mean, it's the second time they've gone to him here on this drive. Yeah, opening drive. It's a tone setter, right? I think they're going to be looking his way a lot. Yeah, and I think that the way things are going right now, they like him as a featured receiver, Let's see what kind of adjustments the defense is going to make to try and take that away. So again from the 39, this time from the other side of the field. Here's first and 10. The former second round pick, this is Joe Mixon. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. He's got Njoku over the middle. And he's got another first down as the tackle's gonna be made at the Patriots 24 yard line. Nice methodical opening drive here. They're already in the field goal range. They're in a good spot. You know that people like to take a shot in this part of the field. But at the same time, as methodical as they've been, they might want to run the ball a little bit here, too. Yeah, just on the outskirts of the red zone, they have options now. Either way, though, they've come out with a purpose. with a first down carry. 
And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They've taken this opening kickoff and marched it right down the field defensively. Not much resistance. And that's the point, because my admiration is for the guys moving the ball right now. They know what they're doing. Their plan is working. But I flip it over and watch and say, OK, what are you going to do to change things up? Because if you don't, they're going to put that ball in the end zone real soon. Here we go. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. They'll give it to Mixon. Give him four on the carry there. It's second and goal. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? Play number eight here on the opening drive. This is third and goal. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Great defense there on third and goal. They took away everything. Forced him to fire that one to the sideline where no one could get it. Santos kick is up and through. And the Bengals are on the board first here. It's 3-0. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision, loses him about four yards. So out comes the Patriots' offense as they'll get their first shot at things here. They're led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Henry again on second down. And he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down. A first down carry for Henry, and he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Second quarter, two minutes remain, 3 nothing. our score. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. Incomplete. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football, complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. Now Jones. 
He's going to look downfield for Henry. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. The Patriots send out their punter. Back deep, Naheem Hines. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. David Njoku and the rest of the offense heading back out onto the field. There was a lot of talk in training camp about him getting off to a hot start this year, saying that they needed that. Well, he's done it through the first month. It kind of reminds me of one of those great musical groups where one person has their name out front, then they have the backups, right? <laughs> he's the guy out front because the backups, they're, they're doing what they're supposed to be doing, but we're going to the headliner each and every time. And that's not easily done because you know all the defenses are kicking towards him right now. That means he's fighting his way through traffic, finding ways to get open, even when he's not supposed to be. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. <laughs> That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you can just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's, got some, he's got a man complete. And he is finally out of bounds, but not before taking it down inside the 30. A big play there for Cincinnati. Able to hit on a big play right there in the two-minute drill. Now they've got a chance to use all the remaining clock and build on their lead right before halftime. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. And Burrow going to throw again. And he'll find Chase on the right side complete. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Second and two. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. He'll drop this one down to mix it. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and 10. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. This goes out wide for Mixon. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. That catch good for only a couple. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field Touchdown, Bengals! T. Higgins, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Bengals, they widen their lead. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second. things on offense and your defense feels much better too having that lead now after the touchdown here Santos to kick this one away and here comes a return from the middle of the end zone and that decision to break a good one cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20 now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Final 24 seconds of the first half as they come up here first and 10. Throwing Jones. He'll buy some time right. And he's going to get this one across. Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. 
Back to throw. Jones. Oh, pass to Henry is intercepted. Picked off by Mike Hilton. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six for a Bengals TD. And on that one, with six defensive backs, did he need to be more careful throwing the football? I mean, I guess obviously in hindsight he did, but. <laughs> yeah, hindsight, but even in foresight, when you got six defensive backs on the field, you just know you're going to get multiple coverages. You're never sure what you're going to see. But the biggest one is you don't have much reaction time for your receivers to go get the football because those guys, they're the best cover guys on the field. They go get it. And on that play, they took it the other way for six points. Santos now to add the PAT. He's got it, and it's 17-0. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So not much time to work with here. Nine seconds remain in the half as this one is away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And only six seconds on the clock, so time likely for just one play. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. So we have reached halftime here, and it's all right, folks eager to get back to this week four matchup. We won't put up a fight. The Patriots trailing here, but they will have the football first as the third quarter is underway. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. The Patriots taking over to start quarter number three. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big, you're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. Second down, they go again with Henry. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave him with third and still seven yards to go. Well, they certainly have been able to get him going and establish the run, so I think it's time to abandon that plan and start chucking it all over the park. And you know who's excited about that? The defensive front. they got to just pin their ears back and get after him now. Complete Hunter Henry with a grab. And this play comes to a halt at the 33, and obviously that's well short of the first down. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him, and, and what a lot of teams do, they'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on him man-to-man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Not sure I agreed with the decision to go for it, but I definitely agreed with his decision to run it. He picked up that big first down. I think he let his head coach off the hook. I, that's what I was just going to say. If there's anybody more happy than the quarterback picking it up, it's the coach that saw him pick it up. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, OK, we got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. 40 yards on the ground for him so far. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. A shotgun handoff to Henry. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. 
So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. On second and very short, Jones under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 38. Trey Hendrickson in there to bury him for a loss of 11. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Jones now to throw on third down. Eluding the pressure right. And he will be marked down short of the first as they get to him at the 29. I like this effort there. He got it done on his own. But let's face it, he puts defenses in a really stressful spot when he takes off and runs because a lot of guys have coverage responsibilities. Good job of rallying, though, because I thought when he first took off, he might pick up the first down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. He completes it to Henry. But he will not get away. He stops short of the marker. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And the Bengals will get the football back. I think you'd have to say defensively, these guys are doing their job pretty well, right? Yeah, we talked about them holding them under 20 points, right, on defense. And they've done that. They've held them. The problem is their own offense hasn't answered their challenge, which was to score more. Yeah, exactly. I remember you saying magic number was right around 20, and the offense has been the issue. You're right. Here we go. Burrow going to lead up the Bengals here first and 10, right at the 30. Try to eat some clock with Mixon. And he's got a good gain of seven up to the 37. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. And that's the type of run that you'll live with. In this game, he's had a good number of carries. He's just been unable to really break off anything substantial. yards on this series after the delay of game first and 15 after the penalty it's Mixon and he'll push this forward only to about the 42 yard line give him a couple on the run there it'll be second and 13 and the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first second and third he's had nowhere to run and you're probably thinking to yourself why do they keep feeding him the football well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time, he might actually pop one of these runs. But bottom line is, he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. So this one in the win column now for the Cincinnati Bengals. And they did it in shutout fashion. Impressive. Would it be too bland of a statement?
today. From Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, it's week five of the NFL on EA Sports. Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Coming up is a rematch of that memorable Super Bowl 49 between the Seattle Seahawks and the New England Patriots. Wishing he had a mulligan. That's not how you want to start the game. Not at all, because not only do you give up the penalty in good field position, but it just kills the momentum of your team as you start a game. Play action. Now Wilson. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Nice play call, a little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. They go play action now, Wilson. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off here the 29. And the Pats are going to take possession of the football as they force the turnover on the opening drive. So here come the Patriots now on offense. They're led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. And no excitement, unless, the, unless you're on the defensive team of last week, in his numbers. Because the only excitement he really generated was the one interception he threw. Yeah, no touchdown passes. Yeah, and his team wasn't real thrilled about that. And they lost the game. So, I know this week has been tough on him because he's been working hard. Fundamentals, footwork, finding the right targets. And bottom line, how do they get a win? The numbers on the ground for Henry last week. 10 carries, 55 yards. They've got a nice scheme going right now, and they run the football pretty well. In fact, I was talking with him on the field before the game, and he said he's starting to hear from the guys ahead of him on the rushing yardage total, and they want to know if he's going to jump up there and join them at the top of the list. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. First down, Henry. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. On second down, it's Henry. He's got a first down and more inside the 30. And down to the 27-yard line. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and 10. And to give this time to the tailback. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. First carry for Damian Harris, the Alabama man. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clock. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Henry again on second down. And he'll be taken down as that will take. To the end of the 
first quarter of play. We're scoreless after one. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Derrick Henry, his fourth touchdown on the year. As his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. On third down and short and everything well executed, he not only gets the first down, Charles, he gets the touchdown as well. And you see the defense commit to the run so often in these situations. There's always that little bit of hesitancy, isn't there, partner? Thinking that they may play action yet. They took advantage of that hesitancy and found their way into the end zone with a running play. They'll try and run it in with Henry. And he will get in to make it 8 nothing. So they kept it on the ground, got it into the end zone. But Charles, sometimes you probably see teams treat a two-point conversion differently than if it was first and goal from the two, or I should say third and goal from the two. I agree with you totally on that. A lot of teams treat it as if they have farther to go and shy away from running the football. I think this is a great spot to do it because most teams play you for the pass. Go ahead and run and let your linemen surge and fire out. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Now it's Wilson. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field, ready for their second drive. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. Shedding the tackle. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. Here's Carson. And he'll rumble for about five, up close to the 40. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. From the shotgun, Wilson. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 8-0 our score with two minutes left in the second quarter. I will remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. And nothing but green here middle of the field and all the way in touchdown Seattle DK Metcalf his fourth touchdown on the year and the Seahawks a two-point conversion away from tying the game and a nice job by him to catch the slant and then navigate and break free and receivers love slant routes because it gets the ball in their hands so quickly and oftentimes on the move, and when they're on the move like that, then they get to use their best asset, which is usually their speed. And their speed sometimes, like this instance, can take them into the end zone. A little surprising they wouldn't go for two, but this is up and good, and this is now a one-point game. Taken at the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Now the 
Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Off play action, Jones. They'll roll him out right. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. And that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Throwing again on second down. Jones. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Off the play fake, Jones. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. To throw once more on second and ten. Jones flushed out right and caught by Henry. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. On third down, Henry. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 59 yards rushing for him as he has been. Tough to stop here this first half. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurdling through them. So we've reached halftime here at Gillette Stadium with the Patriots on top. As we'll send you down the coach. You want the third quarter already? No problem. Let's do it. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. Take it in at the three. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. the Patriots taking over to start quarter number three and they've got the lead CD what do you expect from them in this second half well I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball and I certainly think we'll see more of that but I keep an eye on that defense and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing if they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield Second down, they go again with Henry. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. They'll run on first down. Henry, and he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. On second down, here's Henry. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as the tackle made it about the 43-yard line. It's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. On first down, it's Henry. And he'll push his way up to about the 44 here. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine.
Henry will get it. He's been busy today. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Well, praise has to go to the guys on the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up the fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. They'll run. It's Henry. And he gets this one across midfield for the first down to the 46. So a moment to catch our collective breath after the fourth down conversion. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Derrick Henry. He takes it down to the 42, a five-yard run. Well, at this stage, that's exactly what you want offensively. Good run on first down, stay in bounds, keep that clock rolling. And look at that play chart that the play caller has in his hands right now. That's what you got to focus in on because that's divided up by sections. And right now, he's looking at that four-minute offense section. What running plays do we have to bleed down the clock and take care of the football? Right now, they're executing really well. 107 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. So first and 10 now from the 30. A 20th carry now for Derrick Henry. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. On second down now, it's Henry. And he's able to get more than half of what they needed. That brings up a third and five. After that run, still a good amount of meat on the bone here for this third down play. Can you envision them putting this in the air? Totally. I mean, look at who he has under center right now. If you can't trust him with the football, you can't trust anyone. And frankly, to me, I want the ball down the stretch. Get the first down, keep it in the hands of my offense. I don't want to turn it over to them and rely on my D. Third down, Henry, and he's going to be brought down. He needed to get to the 20, but he's a yard or two short. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. And here's a big one now. Trying to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll run for it with Henry. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout. And yeah, they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Try to punch it in with Henry. And yeah, they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. That gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. They'll try to run this one in, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Derrick Henry with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. Well, that was absolutely ideal for them, wasn't it? Trying to salt this game away. 
I think one of my kids just graduated in the amount of time they had the football. That was absolutely impressive. Everybody wants those salt away the game drives. What makes them successful? Well, when you're able to mix run pass, when you're able to control the football and stay ahead of the chains, I'm using every cliche I know, <laughs> but that's how you get it done because you're not taking negative plays, and that way you're able to run what you want to run when you get a chance to call it. They'll try and run it in with Henry. And he will get into the end zone. It's two points and also a two-score advantage as the lead swells to nine. Needed a couple yards for the two-point try. They go to the ground game, and it works. And sometimes it's the exact right thing to do because a lot of teams play you for the pass. So you spread people out, decide to run the football, you often find good running lanes. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. The return man, Wilson. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. So Russell Wilson in the offense. Down by nine, 80 seconds remaining. And their undefeated season about to go by the wayside, barring a late miracle. Throwing now is Wilson. The catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Tyler Lockett, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Seahawks have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So that's a really big play here in the fourth quarter. And don't look now, they're right back in this game. Did it feel to you, as it did to me, that maybe they were a little bit soft in what they were lining up with on defense? Almost like they were protecting the lead rather than trying to make a play. And now that lead is down to just one score. Parkey adds the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So down only two now, still a chance to finagle their way into field goal range if they can get this onside kick. And this is secured by the Patriots. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining though now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And with the defense out of timeouts, powerless to stop the clock, this should just be a couple of kneel downs. They'll try and choose some clock with Henry. And he's up across midfield and down into Seattle territory. 142 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score it. So this will wind up a victory for the New England Patriots. And it wasn't really always pretty. They had their bumps and bruises. Really, both sides did. But they did what they needed to do at home to get the win. Yeah, they really